The Malaysian Aviation Commission has fined Air Asia Group and Air Asia X 2 million ringgit each for continuing to charge processing fees on payments made via credit card, debit card and online banking. The aviation regulator says the budget carriers contravened the Malaysian Aviation Consumer Protection Code 2016 for the second time from August 10 to September 11th last year. The penalty is 10 times the 200,000 ringgit fine it imposed on Air Asia and AAX in September 2019 the first time around. Mefcom also fined Malaysia Airport Sepang, the subsidiary of Malaysia Airports Holdings, which manages KLIA and KLIA2. The airport's operator was penalized 856,875 ringgit for failing to meet standards on quality of infrastructure and services during the second quarter of last year. Kazana National says it is still in the midst of identifying the best solution for beleaguered Malaysia Airlines, neither confirming nor denying talk that a proposed merger of the national carrier with AirAsia X is back on the cards. A Kazana spokesperson told the Age that while there have been several proposals in this regard, a review of the available options is still ongoing. Besides the marriage with AAX, other proposals that were on the table were from Japan Airlines, which proposed a 1.12 billion ringgit injection of funds for a 25% stake, as well as Air France KLM and Malindo Airways. The offers related to AAX and Japan Airlines are said to be front runners in the consideration. Last September, the Malaysian Reserve reported quoting sources that Kazana was already pushing for the merger. However, it was reported that the fund faced strong resistance from its stakeholders due to the lopsidedness of the deal. Prime Minister and Kazana Chairman Tun Dr Mahathir Mohamad reportedly acknowledged today that Kazana has received five proposals for Malaysia Airlines. However, a decision is expected only later in the year. Petronas has inked a deal with China Shinergy Group to supply about 1.5 million tons per annum of LNG to its Wuhan Gu receiving terminal in Shanghai. The heads of agreement signed by Petronas LNG is for a 12-year term starting from 2022. It will involve a shipping collaboration to construct and charter new mid-sized LNG vessels for the cargo delivery. Petronas says the new deal for the additional LNG supply allows it to support Shinergy's increasing demand for the commodity. It also further strengthens the oil and gas giant's foothold in one of the world's fastest growing LNG markets. Petronas has been a major LNG supplier to Shinergy subsidiary Shanghai LNG since 2006. Kenanga Investment Bank research is positive on Putrajaya's decision to hold on to Plus Malaysia. The research house says the move will be seen as consistent with the government's previously announced plan to take over the four highways held by Gamuda. It believes this could pave the way for the company to sign the definitive agreements with Putrajaya by the February 29, 2020 deadline. Assuming this takes place and Gamuda gets shareholders and bondholders approval by the second quarter of this year, the research house says there could be special dividends, possibly 32 to 48 cent per share, to be paid out by year end. Kenanga notes that there is also a possibility that the special dividends may be spread over two to three fiscal years to lock in shareholders for the medium term. It adds that Gamuda via SRS Consortium is still on track to sign the project delivery partner agreement to implement the Penang Transport Master Plan. The research house upgraded the stock to outperform with a target price of four ringgit seventy cent from three ringgit ninety cent previously. The MACC will be charging two high-profile Johor Amno leaders with money laundering at the KL Sessions Court tomorrow. The Anti Graft Agency says former Johor Bahru MP and ex-fella chairman Tan Sri Shareh Samad will be facing one charge. In 2015, Shareh had admitted to receiving one million ringgit from Datuk Sri Najib Razak back in 2013. Shareh had said that the money was financial aid meant for administration expenses to run his party division. Meanwhile, Pontian MP and former Deputy Finance Minister Datuk Ahmad Mazlan will be facing two charges of money laundering. He has denied taking any money from his former party president. Both are out on MACC bail after being initially arrested today. Share and Ahmad were among the 80 individuals and entities served compounds by the MACC last October for receiving 1 MDB linked funds. It is unclear whether the charges they're facing tomorrow are related to the compound notices.